Okay, <clears throat> this is the second part. Wire shade assembly without that nasty electrical tape. I've got the wire all around the top and the bottom. Now comes a moment of truth. This is why I'm using the wire uh, on the top and the bottom. And uh, this is why I do this. Okay, because then I can pick this thing up. Now watch. Okay, this is what the wire does. It acts as a hinge. Uh-huh, see that? Okay, I can brace it. Okay, I've got a little piece of wire up underneath there. I'll use that as a kind of a uh, extra reinforcement. I can tack the bottom. Okay, I can tack it across that bottom seam. Okay, and I get it to stick real good. All right, and what that does is when I let go, the copper foil won't rip off the edge. And I do that to the top. Okay, get it nice, everything set up nice and square. I will go and tack. Then you can tack across the seam with the solder top and bottom. Okay, apply the cap and then turn it over and solder the inside. Usually I'll run some, I'll run some solder down the seam on the outside to help to connect the uh, connecting lines. So you have a little bit of added strength there. So, uh, you know, once I've got the cap on and solder down the outside a little bit, okay, just run it down. It's not going to hurt. Okay, then I can turn it over and solder the inside. And, and what happens when you're soldering the seam, some of the, some of the solder is going to flow out uh, to the seam on the outside. And that helps you get a good bead, okay, on the edge, on the corners, because it's always a pain in the tail to, to put a bead on the outside edge anyway. So, you know, uh, this makes it a lot easier for me anyway. And I'm sorry that I didn't get the uh, putting the cap on. Uh, that's probably going to be another video in the future, you know, when I make another one of these things, okay, see, I'm just, and I can just, or I could just tack uh, across the, the places, across the uh, the outside, okay, to get it to, uh, it gives it added strength, okay, to join those places together, because, you know, without a line running across, you basically have a, a hinge, which is what your your seams are, hinge point. So uh, that's basically what I'm doing there. Okay. Do two sides. Okay, opposite. Uh, get the next ones. Okay, and that makes it a lot easier, uh, less likely to collapse, because it can. Okay, see, I'm just soldering across that gap. Okay. And uh, very simple, okay. And again, you know, if I had been using electrical tape on here, God only knows the results. Because for myself, <clears throat> I'm not often cleaning the whole thing off completely. So that's the name of that too. Thank you. Okay. Very simple. Very simple. Okay. Hopefully this helps you.